Dream meaning of wound. To see wound in a dream means that you attract attention, there are new beginnings, there is a friend who stays in the background. To see wound which bleeds in a dream refers to goodness. Blood flowing from the wound in a dream signifies liveliness. If the blood flowing from the wound is gathered in a place in your dream, it means that you will get material staffs. If the flowing blood disappears or congeals in your dream, it signifies that you will spend your money, have daily happiness. To see wounds on hands and feet in your dream may represent that there will be a property which makes you money without any effort or people whom you make business with will make you a lot of money by making efforts for you. If you see wounds on another person's hand and foot in your dream, you will provide benefit to another person much more than yourself in a job. To see wound on your face in your dream may represent that a person who watches you in your environment exists. To see wounds on your stomach in your dream indicates that because of drunkenness of your successes recently, you don't notice your wrong works. If you see the wounds on your back in your dream, the person whom you betray will call you to account or will leave you in a difficult situation. If you see the wounds on sexual organ in your dream, it refers to a person who is very close to you, who waits for your attention but you don't think. To see that you pull off the wound, pluck the shell in your dream may indicate that you will take result, conclude a job. If this wound which is plucked bleeds in your dream, it tells that you will be successful in your job, your offer will be accepted. If the wound doesn't bleed although you pluck, the wound recovers in your dream, it represents that you will notice the thing you exaggerated or you will apologize from your spouse or friend. To see that you have many wounds in your dream refers to a temporary love. If you see a person who has many wounds, it signifies a lover who won't stay faithful to you and be far away from you quickly. To dream that you cure, clean the wound symbolizes that you will be happy by coming back to the person you abandoned. You will find peace by participating into an environment which you haven't gone for a long time again. To see a plaster in your dream may symbolize that you will hear news from a friend whom you haven't seen for a long time and who stays in a distant place. A dream is a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. The content and purpose of dreams are not fully understood, though they have been a topic of scientific speculation, as well as a subject of philosophical and religious interest, throughout recorded history. Dream interpretation is the attempt at drawing meaning from dreams and searching for an underlying message. The scientific study of dreams is called onirology. Dreams mainly occur in the rapid eye movement REM stage of sleep when brain activity is high and resembles that of being awake. REM sleep is revealed by continuous movements of the eyes during sleep. At times, dreams may occur during other stages of sleep. However, these dreams tend to be much less vivid or memorable. The length of a dream can vary, they may last for a few seconds, or approximately 20 to 30 minutes. People are more likely to remember the dream if they are awakened during the REM phase. The average person has 3 to 5 dreams per night, and some may have up to 7, However, most dreams are immediately or quickly forgotten. Dreams tend to last longer as the night progresses. During a full 8 hour night sleep, most dreams occur in the typical 2 hours of REM. Opinions about the meaning of dreams have varied and shifted through time and culture. Many endorse the Freudian theory of dreams, that dreams reveal insight into hidden desires and emotions. 
Other prominent theories include those suggesting that dreams assist in memory formation, problem solving, or simply are a product of random brain activation. The earliest recorded dreams were acquired from materials dating back approximately 5,000 years, in Mesopotamia, where they were documented on clay tablets. In the Greek and Roman periods, the people believed that dreams were direct messages from deities or deceased persons, and that they predicted the future. Some cultures practiced dream incubation with the intention of cultivating dreams that are of prophecy. Sigmund Freud, who developed the psychological discipline of psychoanalysis, wrote extensively about dream theories and their interpretations in the early 1900s. He explained dreams as manifestations of one's deepest desires and anxieties, often relating to repressed childhood memories or obsessions. Furthermore, he believed that virtually every dream topic, regardless of its content, represented the release of sexual tension. In the interpretation of dream, Freud developed a psychological technique to interpret dreams and devised a series of guidelines to understand the symbols and motifs that appear in our dreams. In modern times, dreams have been seen as a connection to the unconscious mind. They range from normal and ordinary to overly surreal and bizarre. Dreams can have varying natures, such as being frightening, exciting, magical, melancholic, adventurous, or sexual. The events in dreams are generally outside the control of the dreamer, with the exception of lucid dreaming, where the dreamer is self-aware. Dreams can at times make a creative thought occur to the person or give a sense of inspiration. Why do we dream? There are several hypotheses and concepts as to why we dream. Are dreams merely part of the sleep cycle or do they serve some other purpose? Possible explanations for why we dream include To represent unconscious desires and wishes To interpret random signals from the brain and body during sleep To consolidate and process information gathered during the day To work as a form of psychotherapy from converging evidence and new research methodologies, researchers have speculated that dreaming is offline memory reprocessing, consolidates learning and memory tasks, is a subsystem of the waking default network, which is active during mind-wandering and daydreaming. Dreaming could be seen as cognitive simulation of real-life experiences participates in the development of cognitive capabilities. Is psychoanalytic, dreams are highly meaningful reflections of unconscious mental functioning. Is a unique state of consciousness that incorporates three temporal dimensions, experience of the present, processing of the past, and preparation for the future. Provides a psychological space where overwhelming, contradictory, or highly complex notions can be brought together by the dreaming ego that would be unsettling while awake. This process serves the need for psychological balance and equilibrium. As with many things concerning the brain and unconscious thought, there is so much that remains unknown about dreaming. Dreams are difficult to study in a laboratory. As technology and new research techniques are developed, the understanding of dreams will continue to grow.